Oh my. Today is another boring Thursday of mine and I decided to do a photo shoot by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's going to look like but you know you girls got talent <laughs> and I'm super creative. So as you can see it's dark already it's about 7 p.m. and I have my studio set already. So this is how my studio looks, homemade studio by myself. And I have my rose petals right here. Dun -dun. And I'm getting right into this to shoot. So let me basically show you what it looks like. Today I'm not going to be using this chair and I'll just be using this backdrop, which I got from Amazon, by the way, it's really cute and shiny. And I used pins to hold it up here because I have like wood here which is super easy for me and then this is how it looks I have my lights right here so this one I just didn't take out this white cloth because I want it soft on this side as you can see this gold um, foil paper I got it and I just wanted something extra. So it's really, really glittering and shiny. So this side has to be warm light. And then, as you can see, this one has all the reflection. I took off the white cloth. So it can just reflect on my bare skin this way. And then this is just to give you that glam, you know, that extra shine. <laughs> anyway, so this is just my light set for my photo shoot. And then this is my makeup for the photo shoot. I actually wanted something really cute because it's for my birthday and, you know, it's a DIY. So I wanted something extra and a little bit of glitter here and there. So this is practically how it's going to look. And guys, I'm doing this with my phone, okay? I'm not using a camera. So just in case... You want to like get your birthday pictures done or anything you can do it with your phone and it's basically going to come out cute if you actually know how to edit after shooting so uh this is my homemade studio in my living room <laughs> and this is how it's going to look i just want a portrait look uh nothing more that's why you see i'm putting on black right down here because i just this is what i want this is like what I want to film and you know so that's just how I'm going to be looking don't you see mm. just posing like a model yeah girl it looks cute right <laughs> so this is practically how oh and then I forgot to mention with my phone I have a lens because this really can work without an extra lens okay so with my phone right now I have a lens on it and that's why it looks this good okay so once i bring down the lights a little bit or maybe i'm going to take it standing i don't know how i feel like but practically you can do it at home it's super easy super simple you just know you just need to know what lights to use and just make sure your backdrop is like really white super white okay not cream white not beige and not nothing like that just super white because as you can see oh, oh. Uh -oh. well that's because as you can see my rogue is white um not really white beige something like that you know i don't still know how to pronounce the word beige anyways i know it in french la couleur est beige Mais je ne sais pas comment on prononce ça en français, en anglais. Donc, je vais utiliser le mot beige et puis du blanc. So, this is like cream white and white. As you can see, my rogue is cream white and my backdrop is white. Really, really white. Shiny white. And you, as you can see, it's something like... 
don't know if it's satin or but it's not cotton so this is really going to make it shiny one while i'm editing my pictures so in case you don't know how to actually edit well i can give you some tips if you're interested just drop your comments down below and i'm just going to let you know what editing app i use to get me awesome pics right now it looks dumb and you know just there but by the time i'm done and i put those finishing touches baby oh it's going to be superb <laughs> i love me yo i'm very creative and i trust my creativity so i'm just going to get this done by myself and it is definitely going to look like that of a pro yeah it's with my phone Mm hmm so i'm getting right into this and guys don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up because this is definitely not an easy something okay this is definitely not going to be easy <laughs> and then right now it's like what's the time it's practically 7 p.m 7 p.m and i'm about to shoot my birthday pictures make you look cute yes girl so uh oh my i'm not using my microphone all right guys so it's time for me to start filming and because i'm going to be using my phone i cannot actually show you how what i'm going to be doing or how it's going to look like but this is just how my studio looks my backdrop i'm not yet done with my ceiling though but i'm still working on this house i just moved in so there's a lot of you know adjusting to do but aside that i think it's fine already yep okay let's start shooting i'll be right back i'll just show you my before this is my before i'm showing you showing my after okay see you guys okay guys so i'm just showing you guys real quick my ac is on making noise and i have music in the background so this is just one of my settings i have the rose petals all over and my wig is just giving me that oof girl oh i love this setting i love this setting like this is actually my best setting right now like it's just so simple and cute. Anyways, I have the cloth, the petals, the da da. This other cloth, do do. And my wig and your baby girls looking cute. Oh, sick. So it's a DIY something. That's why you see I have the time taking my time doing it by myself. My camera is right <laughs> above me doing it with my phone so you can achieve this with your iphone okay girl this is so pop don't forget to have a lens Ta -da. bye <laughs> i'll show you the after pictures okay guys so the editing is done but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you what I did, okay? So these are my editing apps, like what I really use. Now, I'm just going to get into Beauty Plus. Um, and then we go to Photo Editor. And then let's... So this, let's go with this. Now, you see? This is how it looks. Raw and unedited. And I'm just going to show you how to convert this picture into something so... Mwah. Okay, as you can see, my face, I don't have a lot of dark spots, which I'm really happy about. <laughs> and then my skin is not as bright as I want it to be because I have this scar right here that I got recently. So it just gives me some dots, two dots, so I don't really like it. I need to clear that up and then you can also see that here this foil paper which i used is not really smooth my face you see so it's not as smooth as i want it to be 
and then my eyes may be white yeah not bad okay so this is just it and then you have like my hair you see this we need to take all of this out we need to take it all out okay we need to take it all out because it needs to look like this okay okay yeah girl so this is what we need to get at the end of this video all right so stick with me stick with me so first of all i am just going to smooth the skin first you see that but i don't want it too smooth because it doesn't look natural to me i i want my skin to still look you know natural but not too you see that that's too much too too girl no way i'm not looking like that so maybe let's say 50 49 48 mm, yeah 49 i think maybe 48 48 looks good so this is it now the next thing you want to do is this brighten your eyes oh girl yeah my eyes look bright but i want it really bright like really really bright brighter than it is right now so you can see this is before after but there's not too much of a difference now i'm going to do it manually this permits me to like you know do this by myself yes before after do you see that this is before and after before after before after yes girl yes and then we do it this way as well dun, dun, dun. before after before after that looks cute in it okay now we save it all right next thing since i don't need to whiten my teeth um i try to do this how can i say it as little as possible i try to edit my pictures to the minimal i don't like a lot of editing it just takes it out of the natural form so i really really like to edit it as little as possible so as you can see i think my face is really good right now all i need to do is to smoothen this um for paper so i'll just come to firm so with beauty plus i pay like annual subscription that's why you have access to all of this this um this uh functions with the diamond are only for are only for um premium users so i always come to firm on my instagram stop i know you guys are loving my pictures okay i always come to firm oh my and this is one person i always come oh i always come to firm first and then i can you see that but you need to be careful so you like bring it down a little bit reduce it and then you just try to firm it a little bit and just make it look smooth right there this will really help like make it really look smooth so it doesn't look like it's leaving your skin something like that about to fall off so just try to make it as smooth as possible now just take a look let me show you real quick before after you see that it blends to my skin so here we can just like try to blend that very well just it's just so so it doesn't like show that it's about to fall off <laughs> because i used um lash lash glue lash glue <laughs> lash glue to glue it on my face so that's why it's not that strong so the hold is not that strong it doesn't have a strong hold on my face so it can fall off easily that's why you see all this pop out so you really just need to make it look smooth and nice 
dun, 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 dun. Yep. And here, we try to make it look blended to the skin as possible. It just needs to look blended, blended, blended. Okay. You see that? Mm, this part is looking... Where's my firm? Firm it! And I don't like it here. And here as well. And here too. So who's popping out again? Who's popping out again? Anybody popping out? Nobody's popping out. Okay, let's come here. See this? You need to close it up. Close it up. Make it blend to the skin. Make it blend to the skin. Make it blend to that skin. Girl, you don't want it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay? Now, you see this? You just... Since my lace is a little visible, I just like blend that as well to my skin. I went back a little bit because it was too much. But now you just see, you just need to blend it a little bit into your skin so it looks real and it shouldn't be visible. All right, you see that? Oh, girl, just now look before after before after before after you see how the foil paper is well blended and just looks like it's on my skin and so smooth yeah girl that's what we want okay now we have that fixed mm. the next thing we're going to do is acne here so i always love to do it manually because I have more control so my acne is mostly for this spot in my chest that i really 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 don't like we take it all off okay see that we take it off with our acne stick Now look at your girl's chests. Oh my! Ooh! <laughs> it looks good. Anything acne, just take it off, okay? On my face, let's look. Is there anything that I don't like that much? Anything you don't like, just, you know, take it off. But don't try to overdo it, okay? You still want to look as natural as possible. Don't take away your natural face. Okay, so I'm just going to like take away anything that it's, you see how small it is, but it's really going to make a lot of difference. All right, I don't really have a lot of dark spots. I'm just doing this like where I feel I should, but it's not really necessary for me because my face is fine. It's not that bad. It's not perfect, yes, but I'm working on it. So it's not that bad yet. It was before, but right now it's really good. So, we got that done. Is there anything you see that needs to be taken away? You just need to take it away right now. Take it away. Take it away. Anything that's not supposed to be here. Just take it away, 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 away. All right. Now look at me. Ooh, girl, you look good. <laughs> okay, so the most I did was just take out this dark spot right here. Now, see, it looks flawless and cute. Okay, that's done. We save. And then now we go to... Um, I don't use a lot of these options. <laughs> I just use what I need, Okay. I don't need to tone it, but if you want, you can. You see that? You can just, you know, change the tones. But like I said, I don't want to get out of my natural skin. So I really wouldn't tone it. I'm just, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not interested. Okay. You can resize your eyes if you want to. You can contour your face, but I don't need that. I, I really don't. So dark circles. Now, let's see if we have any dark circles before, after. Okay, we had a little, so let's take that off too. You see the difference? Before, 
after, before, after. Okay, good. We got that done. What else? My lashes look good. Most of it, you don't even need to touch your lashes. But if you want to, you go to makeup. To me, it mostly looks like um, <laughs> Chinese kind of things. So I don't use them. It's horrible. Anyways, this is what you can use. Eyelashes, contact lenses, blah, 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 blah. Like I said, I don't really use most of these options. I use just what I need to make my picture stand out um oiliness yes to avoid um my face wait let me, let me get this brighter for you so oiliness you see this like i don't know if you see it but it changes a little bit of, you see that when your face is oily it just shines it glitters for no reason <laughs> so you'd rather just like take that off so let me see how intense it is you see my face is really looking oily, but now it's not. It's looking oily now. It's not. It's looking oily now. Now it's not. So um, I love to go in with this, but also I do it manually. Why? Because of my bare skin. My bare skin right now is really oily. So we take that off as well. Now, you see? Do you see? Yep. Looks good, right? Maybe I did it a little bit too much. Let me reduce it. Dun -dun. Just a little bit. Take that off a little bit. Oily skin is not the best for superb pictures. So you want your skin to be looking dry and, you know, see that? You see that? Good. Now my face is really cute bright and not oily okay that is done um what else do i need to do oh okay the hair the hair the hair i've brightened my eyes right taken out the dark circles the hair the hair around me needs to go away where is my firm firm okay here now you use your firm you can increase this a little bit. You see that? Oh, you need to be careful. It's going to like try to... This takes a lot of time, guys. Like, this can literally take you the whole day. <laughs> well, I'm just joking. But it takes time to like erase all of this, given that I'm using my phone. But if you're using your laptop, it's way easier. But with the phone, you really need to take the time... And try to like take it out, you know. You like have to do it multiple times. You have to pass the brush a couple of times on it. Reduce here. Like this. Oh, got on my hand. Here and here. But you need, oh, it, was, it picked up the dark color. So you just want to keep it blue. Oh. Guys, this takes time. Like, I practically had to take, like, four hours. Oh, I, I'm telling you, it's not something you get it on the first day. So, it takes hours to get this right. You see that? Like, I'm just going to show you, but you have to do it by yourself, though. So, it, it, this literally takes hours to get right. On a serious note, so wish you all the best you can reduce it make it as small as possible so it doesn't touch your skin like this you get as many times as you need to to make it blend with the background you know take away the dark hair you see that it's gone now so if you have the time you have to carefully do it around your ears around your hair Around your head, all around, go around the hair, go around the hair part. See that? Make it as you just need to brush it as many times as possible so it blends with the background. And just continue and continue. Well, I'm in a rush. You see, it's overlapping. You see that? It's overlapping. So you can use your razor and you just clean up what's, what overlap. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god you just clean up what overlaps all right like that a bit so like this and like this just clean up what is taking space and we're good then we continue there so you can also use the firm for your background you see all these pleats right here you can take it away with the firm you just make it big and you take it away it's gone straight you can take this away okay it's gone swipe as many times as possible to get the right thing you see my background right now it's looking good you can put it here to get that blue back you see that do you see now see let me show you just part of my face though somewhere here anyways let me do this part for you to oh oh that's big 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 smaller smaller we want you smaller oh, like this we're gonna use the razor so it's okay it's okay it's okay it's fine we just want to get that blue feeling everywhere blue background dun, 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 dun. bring it bring it on okay so something like this right and we go in with our razor oh my face no way get out of here <laughs> Anyways, we, we, we just take it out of here a little bit like this, right? Clean that hair. You don't want your dark hair looking crazy. Like you're getting old or something. No, nope, you don't. I don't want that for you. So you shouldn't want that for yourself. Okay. Now back. All right. So with, when you have shadows of, um, black paint or black i don't know you just go in with your blue when i mean going with your blue color the blue as many times as possible it's just going to overlap with the black and cover it like that you see did you see what i just did see it was really dark here uh oh oh no i can't go back it was really dark here but when i do this you see it becomes really blue you see the difference so you just need to go in with your blue as many times as possible. Guys, I don't have the time to take off all the hair. <gasps> oh, my, my microphone just fell down. I don't have the time to take out all the hair on my head right now. <laughs> but this is just what you need to do, okay? And you have to do it as many times as possible. Right now, I'm just doing it in a rush because I already have my picture edited. But once you get to do this, you have to take your time. Zoom in as close as possible and just, you know, it's going to take you maybe hours or something. You just do it and rest, sister. <laughs> do it and take a break, sis. Just do it and just take a break. You can come and kill yourself, can you? So... That's just what it's going to look like. Let me erase a little bit. I have a little bit of it here and here. Oh, if I tell you, this is, this is, to me, this is the worst part, thing to do while editing. Especially when you have, like, your hair strands flying everywhere. This is going to be the most difficult part for, because it's going to take a lot of time and you need to be careful. Sometimes it's going to overlap, you know. So you just really need to be careful. But if I show you just one side of my face like this, like this, and I do the before and the after, you see the difference? The background here is smoother. It looks really smooth. See that all those wrinkles at the back are gone. All those pleats on my backdrop are gone. <clears throat> And then my face looks way, way smoother. And, you know, it just looks cute. Now, sis, once you are able... Let me try to see if what I... The thing is, you really need to take time to do this. And I already took the time to edit my picture. So I just want to show you the steps that you need to follow to get there. But it's just this, you know, put it as many times as you can. You need to just zoom in as close as possible. You see that? 
as close as you can go to your skin. You zoom in. So you really have to do it straight line. You need to be careful. You need to. So this will really, 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 really eat your time. It's going to take you so much time, mommy. Oh, it's tiring. My hand hurts already. <laughs> Anyways, this is just to show you what I did. So you have to be very careful. Oh. Okay, you see, once I do this, it's becoming blue. You do it and do it and do it until it's blue, 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 blue. You see that? Do you see that? Do you see? You get. So you take your time and you just clear it up all this place. You just do it by yourself. Okay, so that said, forget about how my hair looks like right now or, or my background because it, this part takes time, but I've shown you. Okay, just vroom, 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 oh, I overdid it up there. Vroom, vroom, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, zoom in, take your time. That's what I told you, you can't do it anyhow. You need to take your time piece by piece and try to firm it out and take away anything that you don't want there. Erase it if you need to. Okay, so you see this. I'm showing you my background, please. You see that? Now look at the before. And look at the after. Good. That looks great, ain't it? Okay, let's save it like that. Let's go to the next part. We have my skin looking good. Hmm. My acne is gone. Hmm. My face looking sweet and tantalizing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we go to our... High, uh, this HD, not high. It's not high. Okay, high definition, yes. HD retouch, okay. All right, it's going to take some time. It's going to make your skin glow. It's just going to render your, your features clearer. And you're just going to blend everything you've done before. So, this is how it's going to look, okay. So, this is... HD definition retouch thing just I don't know but it's the magic <laughs> it gives you that final touch that 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 touch so you can see how cute it looks my face looks Mwah! but you don't want to overdo it you see no no this is not how I want to be looking neither do I want to look like this I just want to look natural but you know well edited so I want my picture to really look natural. Um, I think maybe like 10 or maybe let's see if mm, 20, no, 20 is too much. 15 is good. 15 looks good. My skin looks good. My chest looks okay. My neck looks okay. My hands are always good, by the way. So we save that. Once we save that, we can now. So you can see my acne didn't really like clear up this part. Anything you see that really needs to be retouched, now you can retouch it. But you don't have to overdo it because you've already gone, you've already used your HD retouch function. So you don't want to overdo it. Um, I'm just going to come up here, go to my manual and try to take away these things that I don't understand what they are for now. You get so anything that maybe needed to be retouched, you just do it a little bit, okay? Not too much. So now I have my picture. This is how I want it to look like, except for this part, <laughs> my hair part. But that takes a lot of time, guys, I promise you. So I'm not getting into that today. I've already edited my pictures. So this is what it's really, really going to look like. You see that my face, just look from my face down to my chest, how it looks. You get now we have a professional looking picture, mommy. Oh, yeah, girl, I look good. <laughs> Anyways, you can do this by yourself at home with your iPhone. Just make sure you get the subscription. I'm not doing a promotion for Beauty Plus, nothing like that. It's not. It's not a paid something. This is my honest opinion, which 
uh, it's something I'm using. I've been using for like uh, three months, four months now, and it really works. I've tried different types of uh, um, photo editing apps, but this to me stands out because it just has everything I want. So now I'm going to save this. Okay, once that is saved, these are other options. Let me show you real quick. We have the 3D um, lightening effect. You can change, you can play with the light if you want to. This one plays with the backdrop, you see that? This one plays with the colors. I love this one. So you can just play with the colors if you want to, but I didn't because I was using these pictures for my birthday, so I didn't want to overdo it. Just wanted to keep it simple and nice and cute. And then you can also... Oh, we saved it, right? I think so. Okay, let's save it. Now, once we save it, I want to show you something real quick. Once we save it, you can go into Lightroom. You can go into your Lightroom uh, like this. You see, this is the picture. This is the other one I edited. You see how this one looks? I took the time to take out you see it looks effortlessly bright but if you look closer you're going to see some of my hair strands <laughs> it is took me a lot of time you see here we have hair strands you see here we have hair strands you see here i didn't take out this one because uh, ugh, it's too tiny but i did around my neck and my neck area and stuff like that so you see this picture it looks good right so this is the one we've edited. If you take out this part and, you know, all the unwanted hair, hair um, strands, it's going to look so cute. So here you can, like, maybe play with the lightening a little bit, the saturation and stuff like that. I already have my presets here that I often use. So I love to use this aesthetic preset. This is natural preset. This is the gray look. But I'm not using none of this today. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of exposure, um, play with my white. Let me see. Play with my white a little bit. I don't want my face too shiny. And my black, my black is for my hair, my lashes. I really want them bright. Okay, I think my white should go up a little bit. And then that's it. We touch my temperature a little bit. You see this and this. I love this part, five. Cute. And then now we get to our vibrance. I just wanted a little bit shiny not too much that's okay and saturation brown skin good now we have our professional professionally edited picture this is what it looks like so if you have the time to actually take out all these hair strands it's def it's just going to look like this you see this is already edited this is what we've just edited. So it looks like this. Now you see this is lighter and because I just like, for example, if you want it to look like that before, would you just come here and pay with the exposure a little bit? You can do this, you see? Just increase it if you want to. It's going to look like this one. Okay. So, woo! I'm tired of talking, guys. But I'm happy... I was able to show you what I did. I actually did same. I actually did same for my um, rose pet hop pictures. This is it. So it's basically same procedure. Nothing much changes. Just um, a little bit of this and that. A little bit of everything. Uh, let me see. Maybe we we'll just brighten the eyes first. See. This is my face. See that brighten the eyes first. And then I don't need to brighten my teeth. It's fine. No, not this one. Dark circles. Take that off. Good. Um, and then we go in with our auto first. See that? No, I don't like this. It takes away my melanin. It makes me look white. Okay, now we smooth a little bit. You see that? You see, this is my skin, my real skin. This is a little bit of smooth effect. Good. It looks good to me. And then here, I love to play with my tone on this picture. Why? Because my background is red. My hair is so 
black so i just need my skin to be really brown to stand out so you see i play a little bit just with the brown sheets and then i get something that i like this one is good and then what next what next what next okay at me let's check this scar my body my chest manual please this scar on my chest is what i don't really 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 like so i'm taking it off now for now though because it's with me every day so just for the purpose of this picture <laughs> that we're taking it out but it's always here so that's it it's gone dun, dun, dun. it's gone and then this here just a little bit of this and that 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 do 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 did here and here and here and here Ugh. this will take your time but i just hope you get the point and if you actually try this at home please let me know i would love to see a picture being edited by yourself you know you can shoot at home by yourself you just need good light you know um you don't need a camera to start with okay now iphone uh from iphone 11 it's really expensive so i don't see why you should have an iphone and can't have good pictures if you're not willing to get a camera so you can actually use your iphone to get stunning stunning pictures i say this again stunning pictures now um this is done you see that looks cute okay what else now let's do our hd effect you see i don't really do a lot of editing on my pictures because your girl uh, my skin is not that bad so <laughs> i'm proud of myself <laughs> so not so much editing just a little bit of touches here and there to give you that group group and we are oh group. <laughs> oh cardi please let me be okay we're just going to wait for it to all right it's here mommy see that see me see me see you so you can just get this is too much uh for this particular picture maybe a little bit will do like this yes you see that don't you don't you see how good it looks save and we have it okay so once you get this you see you see how simple and nice like not too much editing i still keep my natural self you know just a little bit of touches here and there you don't need to just wipe off your natural skin before you think you actually edited the picture right so just try to shoot with good lights and a good um, phone camera or a camera if you want to but you can play with this light like this i told you i really like this one I don't know why but i just i just love it i really love this neon zero one okay but i'm not saving it so let's save the picture good so now it's done this are the pictures we've just edited you see how it looks these are the pictures okay now let me show you their befores and their afters now let's start with uh, this one um, no, let's start with the before. This is before and this is after. Let's go. You see that? Forget about my unedited hair right here. <laughs> That's a lot of time. But just look at the skin, the texture and everything, the lights. You see this? Now look here. Do you see the difference? yes that's how much of a difference this makes and it really looks like a professional editing like what people pay money for and let me show you the other one okay um this is the before this is the after Woo! i'm so proud of myself oh so this is before and this is after as you can see before and after. Woo! I'm proud of myself. 
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy you made it to my video today. I hope this video really helps you, okay? So please drop your comments right down below. Let me know what you think. It's your girl here. I'm just doing all these try and errors to bring them to you. So I show you what really works, okay? So please tag me in anything you actually use this video. You use like my presets to edit and just let me know so i'm proud of i'll be proud of myself to know that at least i was able to help you in one way or another okay thank you so much for watching today and i will see you on my next video i'm pissing out oh my we don't peace out these days anyways i love you i love you okay and please wish me happy birthday <laughs> thank you so much bye guys see ya mm. This black chocolate is good.